Hello, my name is Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumin Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I am from the Blue Ray Magdalene Jeshua group of Illumin Twin Flames. And today I'm going to talk to you about this time period coming up. Because we are, it's on. This is it. And some of the things that I've been uh, leading up to in a lot of my videos, not just the body changes, um, it has been the physical geographical locations of where things are going to take place. And I know a lot of people wrote me back and said, but Patricia, what about my country? Some of you have multiple grid points. So even though you lived in one place and maybe your twin lived in another or you originated, that's your grid point. But I will be talking about the subsequent waves. And when I say subsequent waves, there's a sequence to this, but there's no hierarchy. It's like if you build a house and, you know, one person has to do this part first before the other part happens. It's all equally important. You're all equally important and precious. So remember that because there's a lot of you that are in this period now where you're looking and you're saying, isn't it about time? Isn't it? You know, and yes, yes, it is. And fall's here. Autumn is here. It's uh, already spring in the southern hemisphere. And so today what I'm going to talk to you about is the Twin Flame Gateway, which actually happens just about every year. Uh, a lot of people call it the 1111 Gateway in 11 November 11th, 2011. It was called the uh, bridge or the gateway that was the bridge to the new earth. Nothing stopped. What actually did occur, though, was the bridge was established, uh, a lot of things were set up, but there were fewer people than was anticipated would hear the call and be able to respond. We elongated that time. You know, in, uh, in quantum time, there's really no delay, but there's sort of a stretching out of time so that things are able to naturally fall away, people are able to get out of situations, or there's time to move. But we're here now, and it's time. So this gateway is opening up. The Twin Flame Gateway opens this weekend, November 1st, 2014. Uh, there's going to be a really large opening for people from about the 10th to the 15th of November. A lot of people are going to feel this. Um, this weekend is really important for illumined twin flames, particularly the blue ray illumined twin flames. It's our time. This is the time for which we have been painstakingly preparing, waiting, waiting in isolation, loneliness, pain. And there are key differences and the reason is is because the blue rays are not only the creators of the new blueprint of the new grid of life. It was our original plan to come here and do this. It's always been your plan to merge your soul back into oneness. So the separation is ending. And yes, the physical part of that, the physical aspect is what you're coming into now. So if you're not with your twin flame, or if you're with your twin flame and you're, you know, still you know you're here for something, and you know you're here to fulfill your purpose. Your purpose is first and foremost, become one again. And yes, become the one being that you are. The other thing that you're here for is actually to fire the grid, and that, that actually hasn't happened yet. Some people are still going around, and they're doing what amounts to distributing little pockets of love. And that love's going to get fired up. So the gate is open and it closes December 15th. So the first wave is expected to be ushered through. There's going to be subsequent waves of people. But those people need this wave of love um, as the foundation. And there's a lot of people from the Illumined Blu-ray uh, Twin Flame Soul Group that 
actually do need to go home. And that also has been coming a lot through people's readings. And the going home is going home to the new earth, going home to the Pallades, with a full recollection, total recall, and a consciousness of what you're here for, what you're doing, where is where is the point of origin that you want to go back to? And it's going to be enabled for you. Some people watching this might say, you know, that sounds a lot like sci-fi pie in the sky. And how can you be so sure? Well, I'm one of them. I've been send, spending the past couple years preparing for this writing. I mean, all kinds of stuff. And I know there's people out there that will um, attest to this for themselves in their agreements with their beloved. This is multidimensional. This is not a human being meets a human being. This is you being activated, having fifth dimensional sacred sex to heal yourself, coming back into your body and being sufficiently healed to be put together back in your oneness. And there are those of you who are saying, Oh, what if that person doesn't get it? What are you going to believe? Do you believe that you've been all the way up to this point, having all kinds of assistances, that you're this magnificent being, and then a person's head is going to get in the way? No, that is not correct. That's not your truth. So this gate's going to close. The next gate that's opening will be in February until the March equinox. And so there will be many people who are called, and they're going to receive the call. And there is, um, there are people that have been aware of this occurring that are not twin flames. They've been writing about it because we've been expected. We've been expected to be here. Unlike at the human level where there's no support for your union and people say to you, are you still holding the torch for that person? Why don't you give it up and do something useful with your life? You know to the core of your being that even though you may have tried to cut it out, it comes right back stronger than before. The lo This love is immense. Well, it's going to be your time. And so uh, the people who've been uh, preparing, expecting, it's, it's going to be here for you. So the call that's going out, for some people the call went out 40 years ago. For some people the call went out a year ago, and it's been this scramble to get everything done. Other people have gotten things done. Maybe they're living out of a bag in a friend's house or in their family's house, and the family's saying, hey, what what's up with you? Like, don't you want to do something? How come you never date? You've got all these things going for you. No, your heart knows. Your heart knows the truth, and that person has been revealed to you. So regardless of uh, your beloved situation, it's still going to occur because this coming together of your soul, this firing of the grid supersedes everything. It overlights the wave of love is rolling over everything in its path. And if by now you haven't done certain things, you will, and everything is going to go a lot smoother. That's not to say you won't still have to do it. You still have to do your part, but it's going to be easier. If you felt resistance from your counterpart, that's all it is. It's simply resistance or avoidance, but it's not, uh, they are not true walls or obstacles. So the many who will be called, who will hang on? As we've been going through this Mercury retrograde, and we had two eclipses, we had the dark and the light, we had all of the 50 shades of gray exposed and up in our face, all of the large and tiny nuances, because you are all things large and small. All of the small deceptions, uh, like for example, Someone staying in a marriage, and if they leave that person, that person may become rough with them or abusive. But in some ways, they've learned to cope with that abuse, and maybe they play into it because they don't know any other way. These are some of the patterns that are going to be broken down. Why? Because the last twisted bits 
of the deep mental and emotional patterns and distortions that have screwed up our unions for eons are leaving. So the mental and emotional, the egoic, the ego mind, the things that someone tells them or the things that the ego mind tells them of why they can't, uh, this is all being collapsed. It's important that as these things come up, because now that we're out of this retrograde, that weirdness is going to show up with people. And there will be people that retreat right back into the rabbit hole that haven't been able to cut with soulmates. And you got to leave them there. They'll come out of the rabbit hole at some point, and, you know, there it is. You have to focus upon what you know that you know that you know. What do you know? What do you know in your heart? What do you know about all of your nightly experiences? And some of you are having nights where there's been either a complete blackout of your night. You know you slept, but you're exhausted when you wake up. And what happens? You don't really have a recollection. It's sort of a blackout. Or, or even uh, what I've had feels like you've just been dropped back into your body and it startles you awake and all of a sudden you're saying it's morning and I got to get going and I'm exhausted. You're finishing up your last bits on a mental and I'm sorry on a multi-dimensional level. Some of you are visiting your beloved so that they can be ready for this. So never say never just because you're not able to pick up the phone and say hey do you know who we are and by the way blah 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 some of them are not going, it's not going to resonate with them mentally. What is resonating is with the heart. So don't do the woulda, coulda, shoulda, or blame them. Let that go. You cannot hold a wall of anger against your twin. Don't hold it. If they're doing something that makes you angry, speak it through your heart, and then keep moving along. As the things come up, get it out of your union. Anything that doesn't resonate with you, you get it out. So, all of these twisted bits of deep mental, emotional patterns, not damage, not blockages, patterns, habits, and distortions. So twist in what people think, belief systems, um, societal norms that maybe aren't so normal, and uh, certain other things that you know are habits. What's, what's the counterpart filling the hole with that you belong in? You know, what are they connecting with? You know, it could, it could be a lot of stuff. It could be a, a, some kind of a distraction or it could be, you know, something that's even a little bit stronger like uh, drinking, drugging, uh, other things. It's going. It is going and you have to use your discernment because it's important that you know what you know. And um, a thank you for everyone who likes my little props today. I only, actually only have a couple. As you can see, some of these uh, leaves that are starting to, they're undergoing their transformation. And as you get a different angle of the sun, as we're turning here, these transformations are bringing out different loveliness in them. And yeah, this is a metaphor. Some of you might say, oh, hey, Patricia, why don't you stitch that on a pillow? Well, someone already stitched it on a pillow for me. I don't need to do that. But I want you to know something. Um, all of this loveliness has been around me, and autumn is not my favorite season. You know, but it's really lovely to see all the fall colors. And, you know, I wanted to make a collage, but they're just drying up too quickly. So the thing is, is uh, I thought this one was sort of unusual. I don't know. And the maple, symbol of Canada. Uh, the reason I want to show you this is I've sort of been, uh, I started with, pointing out some of the season with like icicles to illustrate a point. And now I'm at fall and I am so happy that this time is here because this is a time of my resurrection. Uh, this is a time that a lot of us were promised and it's going to be here. So the promises are going to be here. Make the most of it. For those of you who have been really working hard, you might have traveled to where your twin is, you've been disappointed, 
you came back and you were like, what was up with that? In some cases, all you did was clean out the last bits of the deep mental and emotional distortion so that you could be there with your twin. For some of you that have been working more than 24-7 and you're like, Patricia, I don't think I can polish this anymore. Everything's really polished and ready. I mean, the thing for you to do is know what you know. You've done everything. You're ready. You're cruising into your destination. Those of you who do still know, well, I'm transmuting this, or I am setting up this or that, or I need to get this established for my twin to come into. Also, know what you know, because uh, the discernment, there will be tests in discernment. This Mercury retrograde is going to dredge up strangeness and weirdness from people. There will be people that latch on to the wrong person or believe something. And those of you who are illumined Blu-ray twin flames know how it feels. There, there's only one. They are so in you that it can't possibly be anyone else. It can't possibly be where you fixate on someone and say, oh, hey, but I really wanted it to be that person. Why does it have to be this person that's the polar opposite? There may be things that you're collapsing as the creator gods and goddesses that you are. And so even the things where you may have looked away and said, I don't really want to look at that person. Um, and I've had this, people tell me this from eight years ago. Oh, Patricia, my twin's just not my type. Or you may feel that your twin is so overwhelmingly beautiful that you go, oh, my God, how could they possibly be mine? How could that much beauty not much belong to me? And your twin is the only thing in the entire universe that truly belongs to you. That's the other half of you. It's the other half of your soul. Treat them accordingly. And be ready. If you feel you've done everything you can do, take good care of yourself, but know what you know. So my video today is intended as encouragement. There's, there's a Canadian one for you. Lots of people from Canada that are knowing what they know. Lots of people from Australia that know what they know. Lots of people in South America, which is the next wave, that know what they know. People in Europe, they're knowing what they know. People in the Mediterranean Basin in Northern Africa are going to know what they know. Um, I don't have too much information about uh, Asia because that seems to only be coming. That's nothing against anyone. I know that there are people in Asia that not only watch me but know who they are. They know who they are. And yeah, this is this is happening and in sequence so that there's there's healing and there's love infusion for everybody and everything. You know, this is not just for light workers. This is not just for people that know a certain modality or for people who have been writing or in isolation. This is for politicians. This is for actors. This is for people that are meat grinders, mechanics, accountants, you name it, because we are everywhere. The love is everywhere. The love is policemen and nurses and all kinds of people, um, because they are not defined by the roles that they are. They are in those roles because they are literally inserting the love there, and it's going to show up. It's going to show up for them. And it's important. If you don't believe it's important to have love, this kind of love, in a police department, don't think about it. Feel that with your heart. And you're going to say, yeah, we need some discernment there big time. Because those police are under a lot of stress. The military is under a lot of stress. Last year we had an election, and my local senator who has kids at my son's school, he came to the door you know, it's just asking for votes. And I looked at him and I actually said to him, the outcome is assured. I have no idea where that came from, but it came out of my mouth and he looked at me and his mask went down for one minute. And I don't know what the full exchange really meant, 
but um, I knew him to be a good guy and a caring father, and he's in politics. He's a senator. He's under a lot of pressure, and, uh, you know, nothing's perfect yet, but we're getting to the perfection. The perfection will only go so far at this level. Those of you who need to go home to the fifth dimension, to whatever fifth dimensional level that is, whether it's the new earth or to the Pleiades or to um, Sirius or to um, Neptune, Uranus, this is your gateway. This is it. This is the opening. So please have a lovely weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who bought my webinar. I, I hope you enjoyed it. It wound up being twice as long as I expected. I also want to say to um, people in Canada, the United States, uh, I know in the Ukraine, thanks to a friend that they, they do uh, Happy Halloween. That's just a little Happy Halloween thing. So all treats, no tricks. We got to stop tricking each other. Have a lovely weekend, and uh, I will have more probably uh, next week because there's a lot going on. There's a lot to digest. So thanks so much. Bye.